Any Patreon members in the Overdose tier or above by December 15th will have their name appear in the beginning of the Worst Songs of 2020 video. Plus, you get all that sweet bonus content. Support the habit at patreon.com slash dose of Buckley. Is rant comedy dying? This is a thought I've had over the last few months, but haven't really had the chance to discuss until now. No, this has nothing to do with my own continued decline in views. This isn't another, oh, Buckley's blaming YouTube again because no one's watching him video. But like everyone else in 2020, I've had a lot of extra time with my own thoughts. And I've been wondering if maybe angry comedy has reached its peak and is on its way down. If it's something people want anymore. And I think one of the things that sealed that for me was Bill Burr's performance on SNL back in October. Now I know I do the impression sometimes. Ah, oh, you can't make fucking jokes anymore. But I do enjoy Bill Burr's work. I just wish comedians in general would stop talking about how you can't joke about things anymore in between doing jokes. Every edgy comic is doing this lately. Chappelle talks about it all the time. Mark Normand kind of does it too with this, come on people, they're just jokes, comments after every joke, and it's annoying. Stand-up comedy fans know the idea of comedy in general is to be able to laugh at not just each other, but ourselves. I've said this I don't know how many fucking times, but I'll say it again. If you can't laugh at the things you love, you don't deserve to laugh at the things you hate. And Bill made fun of both sides during his monologue. From anti-maskers... And then if you don't wear a mask, that doesn't bug me either, right? Take out your grandparents, you know? <laughs> Take out your weak cousin with the asthma. I don't care. To people making movements that aren't about them, about themselves... Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. It's a good old cancel culture. How stupid is that cancel thing? They're literally running out of people to cancel. They're going after dead people now. They're trying to cancel John Wayne. It's like, yeah, dude, God did that 40 years ago. And of course, the now infamous comments about Gay Pride Month. The month of June is Gay Pride Month. That's a little long, don't you think? For a group of people that were never enslaved. Dude, black people were actually enslaved. They get February. They get 28 days of overcast weather. Sun goes down at four in the afternoon. Everybody's shivering. Nobody wants to go on the parade. And while there were a lot of comments on Twitter saying they enjoyed it, you still get the people who are upset. And what's hilarious is that Bill upsets them all. Like, if you were just to read the comments and you didn't actually watch the video, you'd have no idea who he offended. SNL really screwed the pooch with this guy. He'd make a good opening act for a Trump rally. Bill Burr spoke the truth and white people got mad. Michelle Wolf, a very liberal comedian who famously made fun of Trump at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, should team up with him. Both are spot on with white women hijacking the woke movement. And just about as truthful as Ricky Gervais. Which, if that's meant as a compliment, a lot of people on the right are starting to see Ricky Gervais as their guy, because he puts those snobby liberal Hollywood elites in their place while collecting millions of dollars in royalties for creating The Office. And he's also a vegan. But this is so confusing. It's like two sides arguing over the last kid picked to play dodgeball. Nah, you can have him. No, you take him. We don't want him. But another comment that really put this into perspective for me about why some people just don't like rant comedy was this one. Bill Burr is trash and has always been trash. Not because he doesn't raise valid criticisms in some of his comedy, but because he has always leveraged his ability to point them out to the detriment of change and the benefit of himself, and he can fuck off into the sun for it. Welcome to comedy. It's a form of entertainment. It's not Bill Burr's job to affect change. It's his job to make you laugh. At most, rant comedy is about making you think about something in a way you didn't think about it before, or articulating your own feelings in a way that's funnier or more interesting than you ever could have done. 
but Bill Burr isn't meant to be a civil rights leader. He's a 50 plus year old white dude making comments about the world as he sees it from his perspective. And that's another thing that irritates people who don't like rant comedy or stand up in general. Do we need more of their perspective? The whole white privilege or first world problems thing. The idea behind rant comedy is to be able to look at things that affect us and laugh about them. And some of that comes from being overly angry about a thing that you don't need to really be that angry about. And yeah, I get it. I got the white privilege. They keep telling me to check it, but I already paid $5 to check my coat, and I'm not paying another $5 to check my privilege too. Yeah, we live in a first world nation. But that doesn't mean there aren't things that are irritating, that we can't make fun of some dumb shit happening here because people are starving elsewhere, or there's racial inequity here, or whatever. If you truly care about that, then get the fuck off Twitter and call World Vision. And maybe it's just that I need to stay the fuck off social media and pretend these people and their hot takes on comedy don't exist. Which would make finding shit to make fun of a lot harder, but like, when you go to a comedy show, you either laugh or you don't. And anyone who talks or tries to argue with the comedian gets told to shut the fuck up either by the comedian themselves or the audience, or the staff makes you leave. You don't get to make comments on their jokes as they're telling them. If every comedy club was Twitter, it would be the most irritating fucking thing ever. Like imagine George Carlin being alive now. People say shit like, the world needs George Carlin now more than ever. But I could see it now. George making fun of modern Democrats and Republicans, with both sides going, yeah, but the other's worse. You should have just stuck to making fun of the one side. Or, you made fun of my side for 46 seconds more, so clearly you're one of them. And then people get mad when you don't spend an hour talking about every single option or possibility. Like if he did his seven words you can't say on TV today, it would be like, why is it only seven? There's way more. Like what about fag? And how come you didn't say the N word? You can't say that on TV either, but you're probably too much of a coward to say it, right? Oh, but you'll make fun of white people, that's fine, huh? George would be begging to go back in the fucking ground. So maybe rant comedy isn't dying. Maybe everyone's sense of humor is dying. But obviously, 2020 itself has been a pretty negative year. And maybe the more simple answer for why people might be tiring of rant comedy is that they don't need to hear anyone else complain about things. They get enough things of their own to complain about. To me, that's when I think we need rant comedy the most. To go, yeah, everyone thinks something sucks. Because in my eyes, rant comedy isn't negative. It's not divisive. It's positive, and it brings people together. The positivity comes in the form of knowing that everyone, from every walk of life, thinks some aspect of the world is stupid, and that we can all laugh at the absurdity of life itself. Or, you can let your own misery drive you completely insane, and when you're on the news because you finally snapped and shot up a comedy club because the comedian said something you disagreed with, I'll be here to make people laugh at you, too.